All right, well, this one's not going to be tested. Mr. Solis says, I, I really don't want to come up with one for this, but since people were doing this, I have to at least show you how to do it. Um, this is how we do it. Okay, so we got a, a credit card number. Um, the first number identifies uh, this as either a MasterCard or a Visa. Um, so Visa cards begin with a 4, MasterCards begin with a 5, just to let you guys know. It's kind of a weird thing. So you're going to be validating these codes. Wait a minute, that's the wrong one. So we're going to be validating a credit card number, basically. And this is how they do it. I'm going to need some paper. Just one moment. I'll just bring the whole thing. Okay. So we're showing that the check digit for this one, for the Visa, is going to be three. So we have four, one, six, all that. All that funness. All that goodness. So this one's a little bit different. I'm going to put four, one, six, two, zero, zero. It's almost like the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're looking to see if that is three. Now, to let me see, to see if it's valid, uh, the last number always has to end in zero. I mean, you know, it's just like the other one. So we'll talk about that in just a second, but we're going to be working on this. Uh, we look for the odd ones. Odd, odd, another odd, another odd. This one's odd too, this one's odd. Odd, odd positions. And we add them together and then we multiply by two. So it's four plus six plus zero plus one plus three plus five plus seven plus nine. So we add these together, these particular numbers. These are the odd position ones. And then we multiply by 2. I'm not going to do this yet because I just want to go ahead and find out. And then the second step is that we look, we're going to be adding more to this. We look at the odd positions again, and we look for numbers greater than 4. So we're looking for numbers greater than 4. So the first one's not greater than 4, so I'm not going to circle it. 6 is greater than 4. The 0 is not. 1 is not. 3 is not. 5 is. 7 is. And 9 is. So right here we have 1, 2, 3, 4 of them. So we look at the number of numbers that I circled. There's only 4 numbers. We're not going to add them to it. We're just going to take these 4 numbers and say, all right, we're going to add 4 to this to this total so far. Now finally we add everything that we haven't even worked with. So all the even numbers we go ahead and add. So 1 plus 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 3. We add that all together. So let's see. 2 times 4 plus 6 plus 0 plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9. Good thing is that these are all single digit numbers. I'm going to just push enter. And so I got 70 plus another 4, 74, plus everything else. 1 plus 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus plus 8 plus 3. 100. And it's the same thing as we looked into the UPC codes. If the last digit is 0, if last digit is equal to 0, then valid. Else, meaning anything else, if it's like a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, else then it's invalid and that's all there is to it all done uh, if you ever need to find the check digit just remember if we hadn't added the 3 this would have been 97 
How much do we have to add to get to a zero for the last digit? Well, we have to add three, so that gives us 100. So there's our check. That's our check. All right. So I'm not going to talk about that anymore. So I'm going to have one more video. And now that's about it. Talk to you guys later.